Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I have for you the OPI Summer 2022 collection. I bought this collection from Polish Pick. I will link everything down below. Now, this collection is made up of 12 polishes and they all have details. Some of them have more of a micro glitter. Some of them have more of a shimmer. Some have something that I don't know what it is, but it, it looks as if like a micro flaky of sorts. You guys are gonna see all the details here as I go through them. And I do want to let you know that I have feelings about these colors. They're not all the same formula. Um, they don't all behave the same. And so as I go through them, I will share with you guys which ones I thought had a better formula, not a so good formula, an awesome or really bad or whatever it is. Um, and then as it's obvious right here, we have two that are almost the same. We are going to discuss these as well. So anyways, lots of polishes, lots of things to say, and let's get into them. All right, so one thing I want you guys to keep in mind about these is that the majority of them, if not all, when they dry, they dry matte. So you are gonna need a quick dry top coat if you wanna make them glossy. And another thing to keep in mind is that although they're not marketed this way at all, they feel um, that they dry very quickly. And that is one of the main reasons um, they sometimes felt hard to work with for me because you apply them and where they lay, they kind of stay. Like, Sometimes polishes, you're able to accommodate them and you get a couple seconds before they dry. These feel like once you put them on, they're on. So one thing I would recommend if you get them, um, kind of work with thinner coats and quickly and build them up. Don't try to like, you know, massage the formula into the nail, how we we're able to do sometimes. Um, they feel like they dried quicker than most OPIs. So keep that in mind because I don't want you guys to, like I always say, you know, buy something and then the expectation doesn't match the reality, and that's when people get disappointed and get mad, right? So as long as you understand what you're getting, that you can make them work, but you just have to work quickly, you'll be fine because, as you can see, the colors are beautiful. So just wanted to add that. <laughs> All right, I wanted to show you guys my setup here because I have these polishes uh, split. I have a bad formula. I have a May, kind of like whatever. I have an okay towards good. And I have an awesome. So when you guys hear me describe these polishes and I say it's in the eh bucket, it means it came from here. This one's bad, okay to good, and then on the more awesome side. Just so you guys have an idea <laughs> when I'm talking, what I'm talking about. First up, we have Sunrise Up. And this one's like a salmon pink with some very tiny micro glitter slash micro tiny flakies in like a golden to orange. So I guess the name Sunrise Up, it's, it's a good one because it does look like some sort of like sunrise. Next up we have Sugar Crush It and this one looks like cotton candy. Like you know those cotton candies are like pink and it has like blue details. It has like a tiny blue shift and then it has the same type of like little specks. And I don't know if they're like micro glitters or micro flakies or what they are. But you guys are seeing it. it's like a little bit of a shimmer but you can see that they're independent little particles. Same type of formula as the previous one. Um, yeah, you have to apply the coat and hurry up. Don't touch it too much because it becomes a little bit streaky. All right, up next we have Exercise Your Bright. Um, this one had a better formula than the previous two. It was an okay formula. It wasn't anything like, oh my God, amazing. How these colors usually are, like this, how pinks are usually great. This one was okay, good. Not like fantastic formula, but okay, good. Better than the previous two. And it's like a hot pink like pink details but they're a little bit a different type of pink you guys can see in the video and I'm gonna be zooming in on all of these so you guys can see the details up close but yeah now the next one is called pink big and I'm gonna put it here so you guys have an idea OPI did with this two pinks the same thing that they do sometimes when they put two reds that are too similar um, I will show them to you here after um, next to each other so you guys can compare but this one's pink big and it has different flex or glitter thingies. I can see blue and I can see pink in here. And these do look like micro glitters. Whereas all the previous ones that I've shown you look like little like flat flakies. These are more like tiny, tiny glitters. Um, this one, I actually put it under the better, the, the best type of formulas. Um, apply really nicely. It does have more of like a jelly finish to it. It doesn't have that grainy texture that I explained on the previous ones. So um, let me show it to you 
um, next to the other one. All right, so if you get really, really close, if you can see that this one is almost like a shimmer, but this one has more glitter, okay? I'm gonna show them to you guys um, on the nail, side by side, so you can see. The base on this one is also a little bit more purple than on this one. This one's more towards um, regular pink, and this one has more like fuchsia slash magenta-ish type of undertone. So they're slightly different, but too close for comfort for me. I mean, we could have gotten something a little bit more different on these two, but you know, OPI does this all the time. They just usually do it with reds. <laughs> Up next we have Don't Wait, Create. And this one's a beautiful light purple. Again, it has the same little shards on the same color. There's no really a shift into any other color. I have this one also on the uh, okay slash good formulas. It was even and a little bit nicer to work with. I don't know what the difference is because I, when I first see it, it looks like it will be the same as the first two that I showed you. But it did um, work a little bit better. So I will put this one towards the end that has the better formula. Next up, we have go to grape lengths and this one is gorgeous um, it does have more of like a jelly um, formula in the sense that it's a little bit sheer but it built that up it built that up that's not a thing build up build up really nicely on the second coat so the first one you guys are gonna see on the swatch that it looks super sheer but then the second one was like completely opaque and i didn't see nail length no length my god can i even talk to a nail line on this one so i was really surprised on that second coat i thought i might you know, need a third, but I didn't at all. And I, I actually enjoyed the formula on this one. Towards, like I said, the better ones. Next up, we have Sky True to Yourself. And I had this one on the meh formula bunch. Um, another one of those that you cannot mess with it too much. You will see streaks. And I, I'm not sure, like if you try to accommodate the polish, it gets worse because they dry kind of quickly. That's the thing with these. So this is one of those. Just kind of like put the first coat quickly. Don't touch it too much. Let that dry. And then apply the second one. On the second one, it's going to be even and it's going to be much better. But you have to be careful. We have Feel Beautiful. And this one is the other one that I have on the awesome type of formulas on this collection. I was very like scattered with my opinion on these formulas. This one was one of the best and it has a fabulous like mermaid feel to it you have like this beautiful blue base and then there's like a golden but it's not too yellow it feels like like a tiny bit of like a golden thing that gives it like a green shift really gorgeous it was opaque and even for me at two coats um none of these i will wear them at one this was no exception but at two it was perfect and I really love this one. Huge, huge mermaid vibes. Up next, we have Make Rainbows. And this one has a pearly feel to it. The other ones don't, but this one does. Almost as if the shimmer thing in it was too fine. But I think this is on purpose. Because if you zoom in on the bottle, you can tell it's like a, shim like a shimmery, shifty thing. Not so much the micro flaky details that you have on the other ones. Um... I don't know how I feel about this polish. I'm not sure if I like it or not because I'm not a fan of pearl. That, that's not a secret. And I don't know. I have to sit on this one. I think it's unique, but I'm not sure if it's unique in a good way or not. Also, the shift that you see here on the bottle, I don't think it translates too much into the nail. But maybe in the sun you will see it because I didn't take it out into the sun on my nails. So I don't know. And it has like blue. It's like blue shifts in there. But yeah, this is a weird one. And I have it on the meh kind of formulas because also like the other ones that are in the same bucket, um, it has kind of like, you have to hurry up when you apply it. So, I don't know. All right, up next we have Be Unapologetic, and this is the only one that I have on a pile called Bad. <laughs> the formula on this was not good. Um, of course, we can make it work, right? Like I said, work with it fast and build up the codes, but it was, I did get some streakiness on the first code. Even still in the second one, it wasn't even. By the third, it was fine. Now, you have to see if this is something unique enough that you want to work it. Um, but, you know, it does have like a really beautiful gold um, micro shimmer thingy. I don't know how to call these, but, but because, I don't know. What do you guys call these? Because it's not fine enough to be a shimmer. It's not a glitter. It's not a flaky. It's like a micro flaky. I don't even know. Now, in person, it looks 
yellow and on camera sometimes it picks up green but I don't see it in person it's not a chartreuse it's a yellow I'm looking at it right now and I don't pick up chartreuse but maybe there is some hidden green undertones in here and that's why it shows on, on video sometimes but I don't know up next we have this beautiful orange which is called mango for it and it has the same details in gold it's the same as the first two pinkish that I showed you same type of formula I put it in the matte kind of bucket because you do get it nice and even in two coats but it does have that thing where you have to hurry up and go right you cannot mess with it too much um, they do get some streaks and it appears as if it wasn't self-leveling but then it, it does and then once you do the second coat you're fine but you know by no means is it like a super easy to apply formula no but it's may okay like you know whatever and last but not least we have the future is you and i have this one on the okay to good bucket um it applied you know very nicely and i actually expected this one to be kind of messed up because this new new type of colors sometimes give trouble but this looks pretty good um so i have no complaints about this one now sometimes on video it shows a little bit too orange too yellow and in person it does have more pink it feels kind of like a dusty peach yeah i think that's good like a dirty dusty peach with these details in orange all right guys now that we have seen the collection if i have to pick a favorite i have to say this one the one with the mermaid vibes also this one because i love these types of shades and if i have to pick a least favorite i think i'm gonna have to go with this green just because the formula is that pearly thing that i do not prefer uh, everything else seems fun even though they some you know had a little bit of a formula iffiness i think they're fun i think it's a good collection from opi a lot of different options and you know when i'm describing these formulas i do get a little bit picky because i'm used to showing you guys a lot of times when i show you things that are like really really good i tell you so i want you to understand what you're getting that way if you buy them there's no disappointments so once again thank you so much for coming to my review and i hope to see you in the next one bye